Right now, Larry Merchant is with Lennox Lewis. Larry. Okay, I think I am with Lennox Lewis this time. Lennox, you don't seem as stunned by the outcome of this fight as the rest of this crowd. Why? No, because I visualized before the fight what, what exactly I was going to do. I realized that Razor is a person that gets agitated really fast. And even though I'm quiet, you can still hear my silence. What does that mean exactly? You're looking across the ring, he was jumping up and down, he came out like 110 miles an hour. Did you feel that he was overexcited, that he was going to leave himself open? I, I looked into his eyes and just looked at his, you know, at his physical self and I realized that, you know, he was very, he, he looked scared to me. And uh, I was just calm. I, I, you know, I knew what I was going to do and I, I knew what I wanted to do. So I just went out there and asserted myself and did it. What did you want to do? What had you seen about Razor Ruddick that resulted in the result we got? Well, I realized by watching tapes of him uh, that he keeps his left hand really low. Razor's never been in with a guy that throws a natural right hand that is, that is as fast as me. And that's, that was a surprise for Razor Ruddick. Is that why you threw those two wild rights in the first round, because you were anxious to, to, to get that in? I was very anxious. One of my biggest problems is that I get too over-anxious and I want to prove myself too fast. But with the help of my team around with Courtney Sham, my conditioner, Harold Knight, Pepe Curis, Ali, and my sparring partners, you know, Tubbs and Weaver, they helped me to overcome that. What are your thoughts about Holyfield versus Bo and your opportunity to fight the winner? I believe that, you know, Holyfield, I give him the edge because he's a boxer and, that he's, and he's a workaholic. But uh, before I said I was knocking at the door, I kicked down the door tonight. I'm coming after Holly Field. Thank you very much, Lennox Lewis. Jim.